My name is Nikki Glassby from the Nth Power, and this is Skill Sets. Yeah. I am AVL. Um, I chose to play a song because that's what we do, is play songs. Or that's what we should do, is play songs. I never really ever like to take drum solos, because they're always like out of context. Yo, I've been playing support for you all night. You can't play for me? Okay, so whenever you come see the nth power, the rest of the rhythm section plays during the drum solo. There's definitely many explanations of groove. So for me, groove is like breathing air. It's like drinking water. It's like walking. It's your heart beating. If you are a better person, nine times out of 10, you'll be a better player. You know everything about um, congueros, and I mean that's the thing is that I kind of look at the drums just as I would look at any other instrument. You know, let's say for instance, I always use this as an example because I think it's the best example ever. All right, so you're on the bandstand. You know, somebody calls Billy Jean. Everybody in here knows the bass line of Billy Jean, right? What is it? Now, if the bass player were to go It's not the song. People, you know, the whole entire band would turn around and be like, bro, like, what are you doing? You know, so why is it okay for the drummer to do that? Why is it okay for the guitarist to do that? Why is it okay for the vocalist to do that? Why is it okay for the vocalist to go, ooh? You know, it's like sing the melody. Sing and how it goes. Now, there is a thing to like add your own flavor to it, you know, and whatnot. But I, it's just out of control. I, you know, I've seen people, it's like, what song is that? I don't know what that is, you know? And that's the thing about playing songs, again. You have to play parts. You know, parts are like, I am the part police, you know? I'm like, no, that's not how that goes, you know? It's like, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Don't move. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. That's the part. It's not dig it, 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 dig it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not that. So don't do that. My question is actually related to, because you play with Weedy, and I know, I wanted to know some about like your world music influences. And then like, I think at one point in there, you guys did a solo piece where you were trading off, I think it was an Ivory Coast rhythm or something. And maybe you could play a little bit of that or talk a little bit about that stuff. Yeah, totally. influence was Horacio El Negro Hernandez. Yeah, he's like, I mean, to me, I was talking about him earlier to Nate, our bass player, and I was like, this dude is the greatest in the world. I mean, you know, it's really hard to say, like, who my favorite is, you know, because, like, they all influence me in different ways, you know. Dennis Chambers, John Bonham, you know, Ber Bernard Purdy, you know, 
Horacio El Negro Hernandez is like a huge influence on me, even though like I don't get to, you know, play that style of music all the time or like apply it. You know, he's like a huge influence. Like I cried when I met the dude, like for real. I did. I was like a huge fan and I was like, oh, my God, you know, and I was lucky enough. He like taught me left foot clave and I was, you know, it's like, again, you know, it's like, how did I end up here? I have no idea. But he was kind of my introduction into other types of rhythm, you know, that, you know, aren't American. And I'm very thankful to uh, J.R. Robinson because he's the first person. He was like, you know, I met him at a clinic a long time ago when I was a senior in high school. And he was like, you only have to remember one word and one word only, you know, and it's groove. He's like, all that stuff, that pretty stuff is really nice and it's cool. He's like, but, you know, that's how I get paid. That's how, you know, I've played on many records, you know, played on Thriller. He played on, you know, a lot of stuff that we all love, you know. And he said groove was the most important thing. And I took that to heart immediately. I was like, I don't even know what this is or what you're talking about. But, <laughs> you know, it's like if you played on these records, like I want to be like you and I want to do that, you know. So groove is the most important thing. Seeing everybody in the room got that. Right. Okay, cool. Um, groove pays the bills, you know. If, if I look out in a crowd and there are people not moving, it means I'm not grooving hard enough. It means that I need to figure out what to do, you know, to get this person moving, you know, to move something. You know, some people move their head. Some people tap their foot. Some people move their hips. Some people do all of those things. You know, but it's like I want to try and see at least every person in the crowd doing one or all of those things, you know. And it really feels good when you see people just losing it. Just <laughs> you know? Because it feels so good, but that's really, that's, that's like the whole point. <laughs>